Okay, so the hops have done their job. They've implanted a lovely flavor, and we're now at the point where we're gonna to have to transfer it from this bucket into this one down below. So what we need to do is we need to get our siphon, just take the lid off. Now, on the Le Bruin buckets, you will actually see there's a little indentation. So obviously this is all being cleaned and sterilized, don't forget. So that is gonna take the actual clip part Sorry, the clip part of the bucket is going to go on there. This part is then coming inside the bucket. There's a throttle valve on it, so if you need to stop it for any moment, you can just press the throttle valve. But we want that to go right to the bottom of the bucket so that there's less chance of getting any infections. And all we're going to do is we're going to just pump it like so. And off she runs. Now, you might well find that if that is causing you problems and the, the uh, siphon is getting blocked up, then we have, with the kit, a bag which can go over the end of the siphon. And I'm just gonna stop this now, pull it up out of the liquid, and you can see this quite simply just goes on the end of the siphon, like so, and we just tie the knot and then back it goes in to the bucket. Again, getting the clip into place and off we go. That way it will prevent the hops being dragged up. They will actually accumulate around that bag and not block up at the end of your siphon. Obviously if the leaf hops, it's far worse than if they're the pellets. The pellets aren't quite so bad as the leaf. So we're gonna leave that to just do. It's gonna take about ooh, 10, eight, 10 minutes, something like that. And when we get near the end, we're gonna prop the end up. So I'll do that in a minute and I'll come back to you. Right, we're quite near the end of the siphon. And as you can see, I've just angled the bucket now. So that the siphon is still coming down the front of the bucket. It's drawing up the main bulk of uh, liquid and it's all coming through. As you can see, we've got it all coming through. We want that pipe in the bottom though. Don't forget, we don't want it letting a load of air in. And we've got a, probably a few more minutes, well, a few more seconds, really, for it just to finish. So the siphoning, it's worth having a practice with the siphon with some water before you actually start, just to get the feel of it. Um, the, the advantage of having the bucket clip is that you've got hands free so that you can actually adjust and play. And on the bottom of the siphon, we've got the end, which prevents you from drawing up the sediment. But we're now just getting to the stage where it's very, very close. We can see the thick sediment in the bottom of the bucket and it's about to finish. Yes, there we go, it's finished. So I'm gonna lift this up and the siphoning has done its job. Right, next step. Our lovely clear, well, not clear, our lovely beer is now ready to start the process of bottling or barreling. 